Alrighty guys, so before we go into the next episode right here, I went back all the way to Rust Bro City near the uh, Rust Turf Cave, and I managed to find this guy right here. Now talk to him after you delivered the parts to uh, Captain Stern and all that stuff, and he's gonna be like, oh, it's you! You're that trainer who helped me in the Pedalberg Woods and also got back my case with my sto with the stolen, or the case that got stolen, and then graciously delivered it to Slaveport. Yes, still learning how to read, guys. <laughs> Captain Stern informed us that the case arrived safely. I thank you very, very much. If I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. Nice metaphor right there. For you, most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball as a token of our appreciation for all your help. We would like to give you one. And we get ourselves a repeat ball. Hell yes. And let's see. Please try it out. Thank you and bye bye. So basically, you are unable to buy a repeat or. What was it? A repeat ball or a timer ball. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing right here because. Uh, going into the next uh, the next screen right here you guys you're gonna be surprised well you're not really gonna be surprised but it's gonna enable us to do this right about now what's up guys it's me your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough okay so I got convinced let's go into the trick house because yeah it's another episode for us and I kind of don't want to battle these guys when they're weak and I'm strong and all that stuff technically I am strong it's just I don't want to battle them while I'm like super strong, you know, like super saiyan strong and all that stuff. You guys know what I'm talking about. So let's go right ahead and just do what we gotta do. Now we're being watched right here. And uh, the trick is if you see a little glare, he is looking at us uh, somewhere right here. Where the heck are you, you SOB? He is located right here. Nah, I'm just playing. Somewhere right here. Right here. Oh, you know what? Right here. Yeah, that's right. He is, uh, Hiding under the desk right there. He's like, Behold! For I am the greatest living mystery of, uh, of a man in all of Hoenn. They call me the Trick Master. Ha 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 Glad to meet you. And, uh, let's see. You've come to challenge my Trick House, haven't you? Yes, I have. And that is why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your, uh, your challenge accepted. Enter through the skull there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. One more thing, I have to warn you. My tricks are quite difficult. Don't get lost. And, uh, well, he's gonna give us an escape rope just to help us out right here. I mean, that's really nice of him and all that crud. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so the escape rope right here will actually help us get it out. And he's like, now I w I'm really leaving. I shall be waiting in the back. Oh, damn. Must have used an escape rope. Okay, so let's go straight into this big old hole right here. BAM! Now, it all depends on how many badges you have, guys. I believe if you win, like, two badges, you can go through here. Four badges is the next one. I could be wrong. I'm gonna have to look it up and everything. So, as you can see right here, our first challenge is going to be uh, anything with Kai. And he's gonna be having a few uh, items hiding around right here. And, uh, yeah, you're gonna be battling the occasional trainer here and there. So, might as well get yourself a Pokemon that knows how to cut. So, that's why we got... Good old zigzags right here. All right, and somebody's looking at us right now. I'll hack and slash my way to victory with cut we just learned. With the cut that we just learned. Alrighty, here we go. Here we have a last Sally, and she will be coming out with her gulpin, gulpin, and uh, that thing looked like a stomach, so it's not that scary. So here we go. Perfect timing, perfect matching, somewhat. And uh, well. Got a sticky hold. I don't know why it has sticky hold. But here we go with the confusion attack right here for the win. Take that. Damn it. Didn't take him out. And, uh, oh. Well, we're poisoned. It's like the equivalent of somebody farting in our face. Which, uh, kind of sucks. So, we got crop dusted. Here we go. Confusion attack. Let's go. Say goodbye to Gulpin. And, uh, no more Gulpin. Yeah, that's right. No more gulping right there. And, uh, well, we defeated Sally. We got poisoned. And she's asking, why so serious? Well, the Joker told us to. So let's go right ahead and uh, use that antidote right there that we now got. And uh, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Hopefully we can evolve a Pokemon or some kind of Pokemon right here. 
we're, we're kind of waiting on an evolution. Somewhat. So let's see. We're going to be grabbing right here. And we found ourselves a lava cookie, which is always good. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, take on the rest of the world right here. Have another cut attack. These are prickly thorns. Now, I thought these were trees at one point. But now they turn into prickly thorns. I don't even know. Alrighty, so here we go. Another cut attack. Bam! Oh, wait. There's another entrance right there. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab that item and then actually battle that guy. And then uh, go straight to the girl. And then, you know, be on our way. So, here we go. Another, another lava cookie. Man, I thought it was going to be something like, uh, you know, gold, rubies, and all that stuff. Let's go ahead. I wandered into this weird house by accident. Well... That's what happens when you go into a, a stranger's house. So here we go, youngster Eddie coming. He's gonna come out with his Ninkata. Okay. I think I'm well prepared for this Pokemon right here. It's not that strong, not that scary. Alrighty, Ninkata looking all mean and everything and using its compound eyes on us. So here we go. Let's go with the uh, Disarming Voice right here. So here we go, Disarming Voice. Hopefully that takes him out. Nope, yeah, but it does enough damage right there, and it's going to be hardening right now. Get ready. Let's go right again and do it again. Here we go. Disarming voice. Kind of sounds mean. There we go. Ninkata. Fatality. All right. And uh, more experience points for all of us. And uh, that's pretty much it right there. So he's going to be coming out with a Geodude. So let's take care of this Geodude with a good old magic, uh, magical leaves right here. So here we go. Magical Leaves for the win. Nearly takes him out, but of course he does have Sturdy. And here comes that Magnitude 6 Earthquake Crud. Okay. See what you're doing right there? I don't like it. So here we go with another Magical Leaf. Yeah, buddy. That's how you do it. There we go. And there you go. And uh, of course, Sage of the Halo grows to level 24. That's always nice. And uh, that's another victory for us right there. So we've already defeated that guy. Now we're going to be going straight to the girl right here. And before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon right here. So we're probably going to be using uh, Sage of the Halo, or not Sage of the Halo, but Gaia the Fierce Knight. It's too much to bother to think uh, this out. I only wanted to battle. Okay. Here we go. Battle girl Cora would like to battle, and she will be. Oh crud! Coming out with a Metatite, so I'm kind of screwed in a little bit. But it does have a Fairy type attack. I wonder. I wonder if we can defeat Acorn Head with this move right here. And uh, there comes that Detect attack, which we kind of don't like. You're a dick, man. Come on. Here we go. Disarming voice, and. Uh, what the hell was that? That was a not-so-good punch, but here we go. Disarming voice. Super effective. Okay. Hopefully we can beat him again with this punch. And uh, here comes that detect attack. Kind of ruining our mojo right there, buddy. Come on. Oh, it's a faint attack. And uh, that nearly takes me out right there. So let's go ahead and use disarming voice. Nearly takes him out. Good God. All right, I gotta use a, well, not that potion. Let's go with this potion right here. And uh, Gaia the Fierce Knight recovers again. I'm gonna try and defeat him with Gaia, but this guy, I can tell he's gonna try and hit me again. With another god dang faint attack. And uh, well, let's go ahead and use that disarming voice. And here comes another faint attack. This AI right here is pissing me off. So here we go, disarming voice. Takes him out. Betatite has been defeated. What now? What now, son? What now? And uh, Dogs of Batman grows to level 21. That's always good. And uh, loss is a loss. That's pretty good, too. She At least she knows how to lose, right? Okay, so let's go straight up right here and uh, get to that scroll that has been left in the middle. Okay, so there it is. And uh, talk to this. He's like, they found a scroll. It's good. And memorize the code. Now... Let's see. We can always go right here on the back side. You know, I like my hard work right here. So, now right there. Let's go right here and all the way in the back. Now, I'm actually glad that we can actually run inside a house or something. Back then, 
Couldn't do that. You have to walk. And uh, here we go. Wrote the secret code on the scroll. Trickmaster is wonderful. Dot dot dot. And as it, it has unlocked. Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna take that. We found ourselves an expert belt. Very useful uh, item right there. And uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Ah, you've made it this far. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to plant those trees. You're almost equal to my greatness in, in greatness by one, two, three, four places. Great, you have earned this reward. And we got ourselves a TM12 taunt. It's a pretty good move right there. Scrub that smirk from your face. It's much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to slump you. I will. You mock me only when you when you're done. Come back later for the next installment or in the next exciting installment and stuff of Dragon Ball Z. All right, let's get the heck out of here. All right, so we're back to the front, and I guess that was pretty much it for the uh, the trick house. This is part one, yeah. Okay, so that was part one of the trick house. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be going straight forward over here and uh, continuing our adventure and uh, keep a Keep an eye out for what's going to be happening in the next episode. We will be capturing some Pokemon right here. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.